Hey, Bricks, it's Brickley here, and welcome to the first episode of LEGO Marvel Mox, the series in which we're going to take a look at Mox from, of course, Marvel. And I'm actually really a big LEGO Marvel fan, but in this series, I'm going to show you Mox from Marvel, and that's what this is going to be about. And if you want to submit your own LEGO Marvel Mox, just go ahead and send me some pictures of your build to BricklyOfficial at gmail.com, and that way I will be able to showcase your Mox in the future episodes of this series. And without further ado, Let's go ahead and get right into this video. So the first mock we're going to go ahead and take a look at is actually from Iron Man 1, the first movie. Made in 2016 by Patrick B. We got Tony Stark building the Mark 1 suit. Now this is really a nostalgic location to me because I remember just watching the first Iron Man movie back when I was a kid and I really enjoyed that. I actually, uh, I'm from the time when there wasn't an Iron Man 3 or maybe even an Iron Man 2, I'm not sure, but I just really loved this movie. I mean, you can see Tony Stark in the middle over there. Actually, while editing this video, I almost forgot to mention that Jensen is also included within this mock, so that is definitely a great addition. I actually think that many people forget him as a character, but I remember you, Jensen, so definitely a great addition to this mock, Patrick. We got a lot of scrap parts laying around and just a lot of details. We can see a Minecraft crafting table over there, a TNT piece with the sticker. I'm not really sure what that is from. Uh, yeah, actually, also we got the drawer over there with the, the entire setup actually where the Mark 1 suit is being built. And I really like how it's looking. We got the chain as of course as well and a lot of other details and the rock work in the back also looks great take a look at that we got a lot of dark blue gray slopes and of course also a door over there in the back which also has sort of dynamite piece underneath but overall this mock looks great you can see a lot of a big variety of pieces actually random pieces and i really enjoy taking a look at this so overall patrick b really a great mock i love the techniques you use with of course a uh, delight bluish gray wall in the back around the door actually that also looks great we also have a lot of snot techniques and an interesting technique actually with all of those uh, edge slope piece actually the curved or actually corner uh, edge slow pieces or something like that definitely looks great so overall really a great mock and thank you so much for building this back in a day definitely a, a great mock and now we're going to go ahead and take a look at a mock from wolverine and this is definitely also one of the awesome mocks i was able to find of course you can see this is the the scene where wolverine is being created so we got the entire sort of operating room a lot of technical stuff going on we get those machines over there with some electrical uh, currents over there on top as you can see that's also quite a nice detail we got a lot of pipes and such we got this door over there uh, to the far left with a couple of awesome uh, just doctors and such running around we get this big console actually as well which also looks great i love the level of detail with the sticker art actually printed pieces i'm not sure we get a couple of those tiles on the ground and then here's this table of course with wolverine now that also is quite nice so i'm really happy with this mock i think it looks great and grand masters you definitely did an amazing job on this mock i love it and i do think this is a really cool mock now we're going to move on to a uh, mock which is really just something which is in the theaters right now of course we get the lego doctor strange in the multiverse of madness mock with wanda over here as you can see this is a great mock we get all of the candles surrounding wanda we get a little bit of detailing going on in the back over there as well with that window we get a couple of finds on the left as well as on the right as you can see sort of a green stuff coming out of the wall we get a chest and just a lot of awesome details also some red fire surrounding the circle of candles and a couple of those uh, sort of ornaments over there in the back which also looks great moreover you can see a couple of those decorated bricks used within this mock so overall really great mock also love the addition of the bats so definitely an amazing mock made by flambo 14 and we're going to move on to a captain america mock over here we got captain america's compass uh, even though this is actually a 
small mark. I do think it is quite significant to this video because you can see we got the compass. We, of course, got Agent Carter over there, as you can see, also quite a nice mark. And I definitely think it's great. I mean, I do think it was made within a digital designer, but I, I'm really convinced that this is a great mark. I love the level of detail. I do think it's quite original and I really love end game marks. And overall, this is quite a nice micro build as well as of course the fact that this actually is quite similar to Captain Jack Sparrow's compass, as you can see. So really a big fan of this mark. I think it looks great. So next up, we got a mock from end game. Of course, this is the scene where the Avengers are walking towards the portal, which will take them back through time of sort of time machine of course with the quantum realm definitely looks great and i'm a big fan of this scene because it actually is a sort of well actually a pre-scene before they actually fix everything within endgame i do think it's quite nice and important to of course the marvel cinematic universe so definitely a big fan of that of course we get the entire team walking down it is right over here as you can see with lots of detailing and what's noticeable about this mock is that actually the floor isn't built up it's actually sideways as you can see we got all those pieces built sideways is uh, frequently used within mock building actually and i do think it's quite nice within this certain type of area because the floor was quite shiny within the movie that definitely looks great we can also see a little bit of junk laying on the ground i do believe that there we got actually got a couple of boxes over there on the left i love the the overall detail on the box over there to the far left that definitely looks great we get a sort of awesomely detailed wall piece over there in the back with lots of windows as well that also looks great i love the white windows being integrated into of course the light bluish gray wall with a couple of pipes over there on top we also get these sort of technic dark bluish gray pieces over there as well as the a logo for of course the avengers so that also looked great over there as you can see behind the hulk and of course thor definitely great so overall i'm really a big fan of this mock i really Really like the entirety of the mock I do love the inclusion of all of the minifigures I'm not really sure if every single minifigure right here within this mock actually had the suit within Lego sets but I do think it's quite nice that they actually uh, try to showcase this of course this mock was made by Tory man and I'm really a big fan of this mock so really a big thumbs up to you it's a great mock and we're gonna go and move on to the next mock this is of course the Avengers building of course we got Tony Stark telling spider-man that he isn't actually worthy of the spider-man suit definitely great of course we get the entire scene right over here we got that sort of satellite piece to the right of the build as well as lots of detailing on the building we even get a sticker over there actually above the door with the sort of caution logo as well as a couple of vents over there the door also nicely bulges out of the building and i just love the overall design i mean we get a lot of tiles on the sides as well as of course the design of the dark bluish gray side of the building that also looks great we also get a railing uh, to the side of this entire building so i'm definitely a big fan of this mock and i think it looks truly uh, great and now we're going to move on to the final mock of this video which is actually Actually, the Avengers Age of Ultron mock which is also actually really a great mock this is of course made by Ryan Radelch and of course this is the scene actually where all of the Avengers are actually competing with each other to lift Thor's hammer now this is also great as you can see we got all of the Avengers just partying a bit over here with a couple of drinks and then what's noticeable actually in the background over there of course we get Ultron in his brand new or actually should i say decayed suit definitely looks great and i just love this overall mock you get the table over there in the middle and a couple of nicely detailed couches as well as a couple of easter eggs we get captain america's shield we get iron man's helmet over there as you can see so overall i'm really a big fan of this mock i love the inclusion of all of the avengers within their sort of rest mode outfits so i'm really a big fan of this mock and that was the final mock of this first episode of Marvel Mocks. I mean, it was a great 
awesome selection i really wanted to show you within this video and i really hope you enjoyed watching and if you have any favorite mock from this video of course let me know in the comment section down below which of these mocks is actually your favorite of course if you want to submit your own build to have a showcase in a future episode go ahead and send them to my gmail bricklyofficial at gmail.com and of course if you did enjoy watching this video let me know by leaving a thumbs up to support this video go subscribe to brickly for more epic content and yeah i will see you all in the next episode of Lego Marvel Mox. Thank you so much for watching. It's in the air, like a blazing flare.